What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you a recipe I used to make a lot for my sister, egg muffins. And there's a lot of variety you can do with these. You could do egg whites, you could add more yolks, whatever toppings you like. But it's nice because they're portioned. You can kind of put them in the fridge and keep them for the next day. So let's get started. Very simple recipe, guys. We have the corn and soy free pasture raised eggs from Frankie's syringe meat as well as the Emmentaler Swiss cheese. Just use any sort of Swiss cheese for this. I really like the combination of the mushrooms with the cheese. Here we have organic shiitake, very high mineral, very good for you. And then we just have some French butter here that we're going to uh, coat the muffin tin with and just ball and whisk to mix everything together. So we sauteed the mushrooms and grated the cheese. This is really the biggest part of the prep because it's probably gonna take you 15, 20 minutes to get these mushrooms nice and cooked down. But then all we're really gonna do is combine everything in the bowl. Now if you wanna do it really simple, you line this with butter and then just crack the eggs in here. You don't even have to scramble them. That's up to you, we're gonna scramble them. Another way to tell if your eggs are good is the shell is pretty hard. You know, it's not flimsy falling apart. You know, when, when I bang these on my counter, they're much harder to break into than regular eggs. It's taken a lot of force to crack them. Like normally you just hit an egg on the counter and it cracks open, but you know, I gotta really smash these eggs to crack them open. Okay, so we got our eggs in here. Nice big pinch of salt. Be careful with the Bolivian rose salt from Frankie's Syringe Meat, guys. It's a lot saltier than regular salt, so just be a little light-handed. So we're just gonna whisk these eggs up. And yeah, you could use an immersion blender, but whenever you start blending things, you're oxidizing them. So it's better to be gentle, even if it's not as uh, well mixed. So we have our mushrooms, about half a pound of the cheese, which looks like a lot. Now, ideally you have some type of, you know, stainless steel or, or silicone muffin tin that's not gonna leach any chemicals. I'm assuming those like paper cups that they usually put in these for baking are chock full of chemicals as well. So steel or silicone with butter is gonna be your best bet. So this is if, you know, you don't have too many dietary restrictions, you could eat whatever you want. Uh, if I was making these for myself, I'd probably do egg whites and just mushrooms without the cheese. And I would do coconut oil in the uh, muffin tin instead of butter. So, you know, you can get really, really strict with it or you could just Throw in the delicious stuff. So a dozen eggs should be just about right to fill up the whole muffin tin. Uh, here you can get creative. You know, you can sprinkle the cheese on top if you want, put more toppings on, Parmesan cheese, whatever you like. So this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how good your oven works. This is a bit older, so it's kind of iffy on the temperature. And if you did use, you know, one individual egg in each compartment instead of scrambling them, then you know, you can vary that temperature to change how done the yolk is. With the scrambled eggs, we're not really worried as much about the temperature. So when the eggs are cooking, you'll see them puff up like that, but they're gonna deflate when they uh, cool off. These kind of look done. Nice, lightly cooked, not dried out, not brown. So we're gonna let these cool off and maybe we'll get my mom or sister to try them in the morning. You could see they already kind of separated from uh, the tin and when these cool off since egg is protein it doesn't really get stuck so that's not a concern with these so the egg muffins have cooled off overnight and they continue to separate from the tin and they come out very easily no struggle guys they pop right out look at her hair yeah. sorry the hair won't stay down. Hello YouTube people, I'm here with my handsome brother Frank. As you can see he's a lot taller than me and very handsome. Alright Junior, they've heard it before. So we have our Swiss mushroom egg cup muffin thing. Mmm. Cut the thing in half. Mmm. Mm. You used to have these a lot, right? Do you know we used to make these more? Yeah. I remember. I remember before I became lactose intolerant. 
for those of you guys that haven't watched all my YouTube channel, my sister was on the carnivore diet for like two or three years and, and that's how she lost most of her weight, but now she's just kind of back to eating whatever she wants. Mmm. Good egg brownie and have some bacon, it'll be good, really good. Yeah, as I said earlier, you could put ham, prosciutto, you could really put whatever you want in here. Do a bacon, egg, and cheese version of, uh, of these as well. But thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you guys uh, have been... No, you know, I'm alright. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying my recipes as well as products we have available on Frankie's Syringe Meat and Frankie's Syringe Foods. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to that YouTube channel, subscribe to me next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can see all of my businesses on frank stefanocom if you'd like to support me further. Thanks again, guys.